Hey everybody, and welcome back to Dude's Brunch, a podcast about pop culture, candy, and internet garbage. I'm your host, Taylor Olmstead, and with me, it's backwards hat man, Tyler Reed. Tyler, what did you have for brunch today? Hey everybody. As Taylor uh, was, was, was saying, uh, I found a new hat. Um... <laughs> Uh, not really. We'll see. Uh, but my, my boss at my other job just had a bunch of extra hats. So he said, just take one. And so I said, okay. It has Cincy on the other side. Perfect. <laughs> anyway, uh, for brunch today, I had Soylent because it's a weekday. <laughs> God. Gross. Shut up. You're nasty. <laughs> but yesterday I had Hot Pot with my parents and that was weird because... They really didn't know what that was, and so we sat on the floor, and we had spicy food and a giant pot of... Did you go to a restaurant and get it? Yeah, yeah. Oh. What was the... Okay, so, I mean, all of us know or have met your dad. Uh-huh. Was, what did he think? Well, so to give some preface, my, my, my father specifically enjoys steakhouses. He likes lobster, and he likes steak. He, he said that during dinner. We went to Buga de Beppo once... And he ordered a pizza, and he seemed very upset about it the entire time. <laughs> so, all those, those all those things in mind. Uh, he was surprisingly into it. They give you lots of little appetizers to kind of start. Oh, that's and good. And he like kind of like mix like these mushrooms and like all these different like sort of like spicy vegetables in with like his noodles and the spam and like all this other stuff. And he was like, he didn't outwardly hate it. <laughs> <laughs> Marked that's, improvement. That's cool, yeah. though. No, that that's good. Because sometimes I worry about that if I'm going to take my parents out someplace. Like, are they re- like the first time I took my parents out for Indian food. Right. I was really like, oh, I don't know how this is going to go. But my dad really likes it, so I go out with him. Well, I, I they my dad he specifically referenced. I don't know about Indian food, but I'm like, if you haven't had it, it's just creamy sauces, <laughs> some maybe some sort of meat, rice and bread, and you're like, how can you go wrong with any of those things? <laughs> So true. Looking very festive in his fall flannel, it's Sean Evans. Sean, what did you have for brunch today? Um, <laughs> I stood at the counter and had part of a cream cheese coffee cake. No coffee, just the coffee cake? I did have coffee later, but I just really wanted something cold. Sarah and I had a little lover's quarrel about this yesterday when we were saying, like, she's like, well, I don't understand why you want cold stuff when I get up in the morning. And I said, because I'm hot when I sleep. And when I get up, I want to put something cold. And she's like, but I'm cold when I get up. And I was like, but that's... That's just crazy. Why would you want to eat something hot when you've just been hot? So, I don't know. It's just, people, let me tell you about my best friend. She's a warm-hearted person. <laughs> I'll love her till the end. Thank you, Sean, for that touching rendition of the Robin Big theme song. <laughs> Perfectly on brand in her Pikachu shirt, it's Janet Ford. Janet, what did you have for brunch today? I was wondering when somebody was going to say something. I wore this specifically for this. It's too bad nobody can see it. Oh, well, here it is. Well, no, no, I mean, like, yeah. that's a podcast. That's how podcasts work. Oh, uh, <laughs> but it's very sweet of you. Yeah, you're right. I you're noticed right. there was a pattern. I, forgot I couldn't the... tell. It was too far. It was it was too teeny. But I, I clearly see it now. Yeah, it was. It was. I forgot. I remember the good old days when you could watch us live. Um, but anyways, for lunch, uh, the cafeteria where I work came out with brand new breakfast sandwiches on croissants. So I was stoked. And it was the most disgusting thing I've ever eaten. Clerical, <laughs> clerical question. Yeah. Was it? So you said brand new breakfast sandwiches on croissants. Was it just yeah. the regular breakfast sandwiches on croissants, or was there actually some new fillings no. on a sandwich? You kind of get you, it, you see where I'm going, right? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. It was um same. So it was still sausage, egg, and cheese, but the egg instead of being fried was like steamed in a pan and they just sliced up egg squares and it was soggy and it was really gross. And I am actually starting to feel a little gross thinking about it. (laughs) It was so sad. It was, it, yeah, it was really sad. (laughs) I was so excited. Well, I'm your host Taylor. uh, And for brunch this morning, I had a bowl of cereal and some coffee. And actually, I also had some toast with homemade apple butter on it, so I guess that was a little bit good. Yeah, getting that fall flavor in, but otherwise, just cereal. But we have a lot to talk about tonight, so we're going to go ahead and get started. This is it, everybody. Like we promised, it's the 2K17 Dudes Brunch Candy Championship Bracket. We did a mini 
candy tournament last year, and we're going all out this year. We got 32 candies. We divided them into divisions, chocolate candies versus non-chocolate candies. And we're just going to sit here and argue about candy until we can argue about candy no longer. So any opening statements from anyone on the panel before we get started? I'm just salty because you guys didn't put the candy apple lollipops. I'm oh. so salty. It is a good choice. How can you have a Halloween? He didn't put cow tails on here either. Uh, we we couldn't fit a ton. I didn't think we could get through 64 in an hour. We're already pushing or it. Or next year. You also didn't put nickels. And <laughs> there was a guy in my neighborhood that actually gave out... Um, he worked for Hostess, so he gave out Hostess cupcakes and stuff. But that's just a fond, memorable story. What about the non-candy option for my child? Syringes? <laughs> oh. Yes. Honorable mention to syringes. <laughs> Tyler, do you have any snark about the way I arranged this bracket before we get started? Uh, I mean, like, basically, I mean, I was screaming at my computer before I left to go get the candy because I was having trouble with learning a new program. <laughs> and I was just like... Fuck it, I'll just buy a bunch of uh, giant bags of candy. And I was like, I know it's not the smartest idea. I'll just buy it. I'll use my mom's credit card. Love you, Bob. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> what, what candy did you get? So then the, was I'll be, I got it. You, give us a... Give us a... So a, I got a, one. Okay. No, but what, tell us what's in it. So you got the, you right. got the one variety bag. So I got Hershey's Kit Kat, Reese's Crackle, Almond Joy. How many, how many bars are in that bag? A lot. No, no, Little exactly. demon treats, apparently. I'm gonna do a running tally. Too many. <laughs> then, we have Tootsie Rolls. Uh, in bars, mixed multi-flavors, oh. and also suckers, and dots, which can just burn in hell for all I care. Uh, and I have Skittles and Starburst. And then, because I realized I was being very specifically uh, chocolate oriented, I had to get the rando whatever the fucks. So we have uh, trolleys, sour gummy bites, now and later, Smarties, super bubble, chewy lemon heads, and that's it for that one. So I got four giant bags. It was like forty five dollars. I was gonna Don't say you probably dumped like fifty <laughs> bucks on all this candy. I hope you get trick or treaters in your neighborhood because I didn't buy any candy. I don't even, I, I, you know, I moved into this apartment in September of last year, and I don't remember Halloween at all. <laughs> I don't think I was even there. Old man Reed's not turning his porch light on this year, kids. I'll just give it to my, I'll just give it to my mom. That's the plan. That's probably gonna be anyway. I'm like, just don't buy candy, please. I'll give it to the children or something. All right, so let's get started here. Uh, the bracket will, of course, be published in the show notes where you can go take a look at it. But we're gonna start with round one. Uh, first matchup, here we go. Regular milk chocolate Hershey's versus Smarties. All right, time to eat. So while Tyler's eating, my heart goes with the Hershey bar because sometimes you just need to go back to basics, you know? You just need chocolate and nothing else. These are both disgusting, so I'm going to have to go with uh, chalk over oil. Smarties. I am beyond offended that you would say that Hershey's chocolate. I don't like her. I don't like chocolate. I have a soft spot for Hershey's chocolate. Um, yeah, Smarties is. See, but that's gross. but that's why because you don't like chocolate, so you would like Hershey's. Because I like chocolate, but I hate Hershey's. I like Dove chocolate, but that's just because I want to be bougie. You know? Oh, look at me! I spent four dollars for some chocolate. I just ate like, one piece because I have self control. Yeah, it's it's all a lie. <laughs> Let's be real. Nobody has eaten just one piece of dumb chocolate. Unless they're like in a crowded waiting room of an office somewhere and there are people watching. Now, have you guys had Canadian Smarties? Mm -mm. I've heard they're very they're, different. They're garbage. <laughs> but yes, they're like, they're like M&M's, except they're gross. Well, like it, they're, so But they're either so way, chalky? No, there's yeah. chocolate in the center. No, there it's chocolate. It's chocolate. It's like M and M. Oh, that wouldn't be bad. Yeah, but they taste kind of weird. Are they, so, but are yeah, they the like coating chalky? has like a flavor. Oh, like I'm yeah, interested in that. So both American and Canadian Smarties are out for me. Hershey's. 
all the way. All right, Tyler, you're the one eating. You've got to be the tiebreaker. Okay, so wait, what's the score right now? I guess technically, Sean, you said Smarties, right? I said Smarties. So it's 2-1 uh, Hershey's at the moment. Oh, God, we should have had a fifth person. This is terrible. <laughs> Why? Are you going to pick Smarties? <laughs> no, it's okay. Um, so I think a few things we need to consider, I think, when we're, when we're doing this judging. And we'll just kind of we'll use this as a template and then we'll kind of uh, going forward so we don't have to fucking go into this every single time. What I think about is availability. Am I going to be able to get this at any time or am I going to want this at any time? Is the amount that I get going to be worth, you know, going to a fucking house for? <laughs> Uh, it's actually, it's actually going to taste good. So Smarties, I'm probably literally never going to have at any other time other than Halloween. Uh, so, I mean, that gives them some point. I can get a Hershey's bar literally right now, which I do. <laughs> and like, let's see. <sighs> I mean, you just get a, you get a full roll of these and that's fine. I got like a little bit of chocolate. So, I mean, it wasn't like a, I don't think I need a whole Hershey bar. I don't think that's the point. I don't know what you need for that. I would say, God, these are just so shitty. They're smarties are just so shitty and steamy. But I think for Halloween to cancel out the chocolate, I think I gotta, gotta go smarties. Is that is that a, is that does that make it a tie? I don't remember. That does okay. make it a tie. It does. Okay, I'll, oh my I'll, God. I'll ask I'll ask the, the tiebreaker. Is Sarah the tiebreaker? Hey, hey Sarah. Okay, smarties or Hershey's? No chocolate. Hershey's milk. Oh, she said Hershey's. Hey. That's a win for chocolate. Chocolate wins. Yes! <laughs> she can just see your guys' faces. and she's like... Alright, so our next matchup is, of course, Tootsie Rolls versus Payday. And this is all flavors of Tootsie Rolls, not just the chocolate ones. What do we think, guys? Let me see that Tootsie Roll. Yep, that's me. Everybody knows I have an affinity for these candies, so I, flavor or regular chocolate, I'm, I'm fine with it. Ditto. I love... I'm not really a big fan... I used to, when I was little, I used to love the chocolate ones, but the older I get, the more I love the fruit-flavored ones. But I am a huge fan of those flavored sons of bitches. I love them. I love those key lime ones. It's probably my favorite one. I don't like key lime pie, but I like the key lime Tootsie Rolls. I like the cherry. Don't they have a cherry one? Yeah. The cherry one's really good, right Yeah. The, the so key good. lime? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I think as a kid, I really liked Payday's. But as I get older, I'm like, that's just trail mix. That's Ooh, not really candy. Oh, oh my god, man! I don't actually that's, have that. That's one. like a, that's like a tweet. It's just right peanut there, butter, like... or it's just caramel and peanuts. Is yeah, that it's it? the one where the peanuts are on the outside, too. right? No, there's yeah. no chocolate. Just, oh, there's nougat just, in the middle. Yeah, it's just a caramel bar covered in oh, nougat, or nougat right. covered in caramel. Oh, fuck that! Top is that nuts. even like? I don't know. Because like, even... I think their their ad is like go naked or something. Yeah. Yeah, I saw the other day, and I was like, "Who the fuck eats Payday?" So it's it's just a Snickers without a cho- without the chocolate is what it is. Get out. Yeah. Yep. Tootsie Rolls. It is. That one was easy. Yeah. It's got a variety of flavors. All the fl- the new flavors are unique and special to Halloween that are awesome and great. And then it's good just anytime. Oh my god. Our next matchup: Nerds versus Twizzlers and or Red Vines. I'm putting them together because they're basically the same thing. Don't at me. <laughs> Please nerds. don't add him. I hate that way that the only way to eat nerds is just to open the box and just dump them in your mouth. That's like the crappiest <laughs> way that you have to eat them, but I hate licorice. Now, when you guys say Twizzlers, do you mean the original ones? Because cherry oh my pull God, apart. We have to go down this road. Well, no, it's because I hate original Twizzlers, yeah. but cherry pull apart Twizzlers. I'm with you. Take Fuck the it. cake. What are you going to get at Halloween? You're going to get the generic ass little Bear. package. To yeah. Yeah, that thing. Lowest common denominator. Actually, you know what? I feel like I would still go with the Twizzler because every single time I eat an original one, I think, man, this is going to be just as delicious. Just as delicious as a cherry pull apart. And it never is. But I, between the two, I feel like I would automatically just. I'm going for the nerds because you get variety of flavor. Do I want the shitty thing that I literally have never wanted in my life, a Twizzler, or it is sometimes a surprise that can sometimes taste good based on the combo, uh, nerds. So, That's not I mean, true. <laughs> all nerds taste the same. All nerds do taste the same, no matter what they put on the box. I mean, if it's... In the nerd box, when you pour it out, and then there's one of just a different color. 
I like him the best. You get like one red nerd at the bottom of the purples. Yeah, and you're like, oh man, this little guy's going for it. He went for it. And then he just gets eaten, and he tastes the same, but... I feel like there's a better version of Twizzlers that exists somewhere that yeah, I feel like I'm lines. missing. Nerd's Rope. Nerd's Rope. Oh! That's what it's called. And you know what That's made Liquor is really good? Nerd's Rope. So the winner of this That's... category? Nerd's Rope. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta pick one, guys. We gotta move on. What's it gonna be? It's Nerd's, duh. Alright, next up. Uh, take 5 versus Twix. This is a legitimately awesome hard pairing right here but i'm gonna have to go with take five i feel like take five is just the final evolved form of a twix it's like a twix just like pushed to the extreme so i'm going take five it's caramel peanut butter pretzels and peanuts uh i hate pretzels um i i genuinely do enjoy twix though so i feel like since i haven't eaten one just by default i have to go with the twix so i mean tyler's got both there these are... Uh, I actually haven't either. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, damn. <laughs> I've never actually... I, they, they had none of those available. I did not see Take 5 available at all. There at all. Uh, and I mean... Take 5 is for a more refined palate. Yeah, you don't really get fun size Take 5s very much. You usually have to buy um, the full bar. God, are we at 3... two or Is it 2 or 3 verse, versus Twix? Or what's the, what's the score right now? Uh, I'm Take 5, Sean's Take 5, Janet's Twix. Mmm, mm, mm, mm. Mm, I mean, all right, just take it to Sarah. <laughs> Sarah, take five. She's like, I don't know what a take five is. Twix. So means Twix wins. She says it's really hard. She's really agonizing over this. <laughs> this is the hardest one, probably. Five. She's going to have to go with take five. Oh, it was, it was a hesitant go with, but she's going to have to go with take five. <laughs> That's so disgusting. Twix would have won against the majority of those fucking things. That's bullshit. All right, so next up, we got Laffy Taffy and Sour Patch Kids going all fruit-based this round. Sour Patch Kids. Yeah, <laughs> Sour Patch Kids. <laughs> Janet, I know you remember high school uh, Spanish class. You going with that Laffy Taffy? Oh, it's so difficult. Yes, Laffy Taffy. I am a sucker for that fake, fake banana and cherry flavoring. All right, is that a tie, then? I like no, it. No, I haven't decided... See, here's my problem. I feel like when you get Sour Patch Kids on Halloween, you only get, like, the yellow ones or the orange mm. ones, which mm. are my least favorite ones. Mm -hmm. Whereas when you buy a bag of them, you get all the flavors, and I think they mix better that way. Mm. I think I gotta go with the Sour Patch Kids. I'm sorry, Janet. No, it's okay. I, I'm struggling, too, because for the nostalgia factor, like, when I was a kid, I hoarded Laffy Taffy. But, like, now as an adult, I love the Sour Patch Kids. So it's like, but I still got to, I'm going to stick with the Laffy Taffy. That's what Halloween was about for me growing up, so. Pro tip, they are really good if you pop them in the freezer for, like, a minute before you eat them. What? Laffy Taffies. I'll try that. It's pretty fun. Uh, next up, whew, this is a showdown. Reese's versus Snickers. Mm. You know what? I'm going with Snickers right now because I really want a Snickers. Same. Snickers. I, I love Reese's Cups, but you know what? Like, Halloween is a can is candy bar time. Like, it is bar time, not this time, bar time. All right, so I'm basing this off the data that I just have right now. I, I was like, oh, there's Reese's in here. I was expecting a full cup, you know, like how Reese's is. If it's this little motherfucker... This is the tiny the, the little fun size one? No, fuck yeah. that. I'm out. <laughs> it's gotta listen, be Snickers. Listen, listen, listen. When it comes to Reese's, there is a golden ratio, and it comes in the form of a cup and an egg. Not a tree, not a pumpkin, not a mini. PC, that's a different thing. I still love it. I love you, PCs. But, like, you're not the same. You know, I... I agree with you, although I do love the trees. I think there is a ratio, and the ones you get on Halloween are just too heavy on the chocolate. That being said, Reese's is our incumbent champion in this tournament. Yep. And I would feel kind of bad if they get completely shut out, because I do love them so. I don't. That, I just had a bad experience with that Reese's. I was like, mm, that sure was peanut butter. So not <laughs> enough. They're also really susceptible to that horrible problem where you get fruit candy with your chocolate candy and the fruit flavor bleeds into your chocolate candy. Reese's are always the first ones to fall in that case. So. I think it's just fruit and peanut butter. 
but not all fruit. Like peanut butter and apples is good, but like peanut butter and lime, mm-mm, not doing it. Ugh. See, I see that falls under another category for me. Where as a kid growing up, like it was like Laffy Taffy first, Reese's peanut butter cup second. But after my first year at OSU, everything is fucking like Buckeye flavor, like peanut butter and chocolate, <laughs> and it's been. <laughs> It's been six years since my freshman year of college, and I still can't eat peanut butter and chocolate. Like, I can eat very small doses of it. Like, I'll eat one Buckeye, like, a year. You make a good point. It's, oh, God, everything there is Buckeye flavor. You're right, though. I I think Ohio, people from Ohio know the tyranny of ratios Mm -hmm. of chocolate to peanut butter like no one else from any other state. (laughs) And, like, we know, like... Like, we're good at finding that middle. Like, you've had homemade Buckeyes. You've had every version of Reese's Cup. You've had, like, all the different peanut butter and M&Ms. Like, you know what is good and what is bad in terms when it comes to, like, Officer Reese's and, you know, Mr. Peanut Butter. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, I'm still going with Reese's, guys. I realize that doesn't even get it close to enough to win. That's three to one, but it has my heart. You would. Red, green, crumbled. <laughs> All right, uh, next round. This one is the battle of candies that no one cares about. Mr. <laughs> Not true. Not true. Mr. Goodbar versus Almond you Joy. Lie. Almond Joy all day. Get a little of that. I literally and saw that. Life. Got an Almond Joy here. Let's. I have <laughs> notoriously always hated Almond Joy, so let's see if it tastes different this year. Alternate name for this round: When you absolutely feel like a nut. Yeah, when you have to, like. No, that's not true at all. I, 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 okay, so I told this story two years ago and why Tyler's eating. I'll tell you it again. I really wanted Almond Joy for like three months. I really wanted this Almond Joy. And I was riding my bike with Critical Mass Akron, and we went to somebody's house for trick-or-treat, and all they had was Almond Joys, and I was so pumped. And I had this Almond Joy, and I was walking down their front yard hill, and as soon as I opened it up, it fell on the ground, and I almost wanted to cry. I just, That's heartbreaking. I, it, just broke, it, it did, because I was like, I just want that sweet coconut and almond taste. Mm, I hate I coconut. Th- I'm going Mr. Goodbar. I say Almond Joy. I If it's like one of the mini ones, like the small one, I like the ratio of that. Yeah, you're right. Bite-sized ones are yeah. the best. Yeah, I don't like the... I don't even know if the bigger ones... If it has one bar or two... Either way, like it has to be the fun size ones, because they're smaller. I like those. All right, Tyler. What's it going to be? I mean, this is... I think... I will say, this Almond Joy tasted better than I remember. Because I think I've really grown to appreciate nuts within the last, like, year or so. I've been having lots of, like, little, like, trail mixes and stuff. And... I mean, it's still going to be Mr. Good Bar because it's like a Hershey's bar, but with something that actually makes it worth eating, which is just any anything added to it. Agreed. Apparently That's why I be Mr. Goodbar. Yeah. Alright, Sean, get Sarah's opinion. She's a tiebreaker. Hey, Sarah. She's watching She's like, TV. what's a Mr. Goodbar? I don't hey, know what Sarah. <laughs> okay, Almond Joy or Mr. Goodbar? She's like, oh, well, It's the one with the uh, chocolate and nuts. They're both <sighs> nuts, you fucking shit lord. <laughs> oh my god. She doesn't like coconut that much, so it's Mr. Goodbar. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Get fucked. <laughs> she didn't know what Mr. Goodbar was until I explained it, just for the record. We've agreed. We've, we we haven't agreed on anything tonight. It's meant to be. I'm not surprised. It's meant to be. Really All right. Uh, it's the battle of the chewy fruit candies next. Starbursts versus Airheads. Oh, Airheads. Air. Got a rep, yeah. Sensi. Are Airheads from there? Yes. I didn't oh. know that. Oh, my God. Right. Get up on your candy, you... This is a hundred percent what it represents. Whatever yeah, this is, <laughs> this this entire bracket is is, is the my opinion about Star Wars is based on what's in this. It's because the Halloween packs are bullshit. You don't know what you're gonna get. All right. Oh, oh. you didn't get double red, did you? Hot mama, I got double reds. Oh. Oh. Star Wars. <laughs> Hey. And you better go to the casino because you got a hot hand right now. <laughs> that would have been two yellows, a pink and a yellow. I would have been airheads all the way. God, airheads are good though. Have you guys seen that they've started putting out Starburst all pink packs? Yes. It's my dream come true. I So in the outlet mall that I work in, there's a store called It's Sugar. Yes, we have they, one of those too. They basically just sell giant boxes of all pink 
Starburst and like huge boxes of every candy you could ever think of. Every time I have to go to a coworker's child's birthday party, I go in there and buy them a giant box of Pop Rocks. It's the greatest child birthday party gift ever. Uh, I am going to go with Starburst because I like getting the variety of flavors. Airheads are good, but I need like more than one flavor at once from my taffy. So I'm going to go with Starburst. What does that bring the total to? Uh, one and one. I don't know. Oh no, two and two and one. What did you pick? Starburst up. I uh, I think Airheads. Starburst. It's because it's the Halloween pack. You don't know what you're gonna get. At Halloween, I know. Damn, I love Airheads. But like in the workplace, I agree with you. I, you know, when I'm like, oh, I need a snack. I'm probably gonna go with Starburst because it's so many different flavors. But on Halloween, but it is hard because Halloween, you could get double yellows. Exactly. Sarah? Well, I don't mind double yellow. I hate double orange. Ooh, double orange is the worst. Yeah. So, airheads. Starburst or airheads? Starburst. Starburst. Starburst is the winner. That's right. Why, why Starburst? And we're talking two-pack Starburst, not bar Starburst. That's a good point. Sarah says that she doesn't think that Starburst tastes as synthetic as airheads do. Mm, that Ooh, is a good point. Oh, that's okay. That's fair. And I think I think you're right. If you want to capture the essence of true flavor. All right. Next up, uh, staying in the fruit zone, we got Jolly Ranchers versus Gobstoppers. Jolly Ranchers. Gobstoppers. Jolly Ranchers. Um. So let's see. So Jolly Ranchers or Gobstoppers? Ooh. Mm. I think Jolly Ranchers is a universal love. I think I gotta go with them. I think just Gobstoppers just aren't. They're they're fine. Let me come to your defense though, Sean. I love Gobstoppers. Oh, but no, I like Janet the, was the one that said Gobstoppers. Yeah, I was Gobstoppers. Janet, Janet. I love Gobstoppers, but I like the, like, drugstore big Gobstoppers that are, like, the size of your fist. Because I feel like when you get the tiny ones, the fruit flavors are just, like, so concentrated that it's almost, like, acidic how fruity they are, and I don't know why. I just wanted Willy Wonka to abduct me as a child, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> And I, That's I like also that, a fair reason. I like that Gobstoppers literally are called what they're supposed to do. Yeah. That's true. It is a great well, candy. It's just not as great as Jolly Ranchers. That's fair. I respect that. All right. We're getting into chocolate zone again here. Uh, Kit Kat versus M&M's. Mm, give me a break. Kit Kat. Kit Kat. Yep. Oh, this is hard for me. Tyler, please say some words while I think. Love that way for cookie. Give me that waifu. I'm having a love affair with this Kit Kat. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. M&M's are just fine. They're just fine. <laughs> I love I the consistency, <laughs> though. Nah. I want to go on a journey. For, for the, one of the guys that fucking likes Take Fives, he sure, sure is a fucking, like, bipolar... Not a bipolar, like a... Like a hypocritical... It's like I said there. in the first round. Sometimes all you need is just plain chocolate. Did you say, did you vote Hershey's? I did vote Hershey's. Uh, yeah, I'm going to give it to M&M's because I also think if we're including the other varieties of the M&M's, the crunchy and peanut butter M&M's have my heart. So Do you get those at Halloween? You, do, you usually get the peanut, butter, the peanut ones. Yeah, but every once in a while you get really lucky and you get a little bag of the crunchy ones and those are my favorite. Mm, those are compelling, but I think that a plain... They're basically a Kit Kat, Kat in a ball, so... Mm. Alright, Kit Kat takes it. I went for a second Kit Kat. That's how Love good it, it tastes on my mouth. Well, while you're doing that, staying in that same area with Crunch slash Crackle, because they're basically the same thing, and Three Musketeers. Really the polar opposites of chocolate bars, if you will. You see, this falls under another category of when I was little, I ate, I Three Musketeers were like, I eat so many Three Musketeers. Because I didn't like caramel. But, like, now that I, like, I don't know. I don't know which one I would choose now. I feel like now I wouldn't be able to eat it. It's like those people who, like, eat too much of their favorite food and then they can't stand it anymore. Is Crunch the one with the little Rice Krispies, like, with the mm -hmm. rice in it? Yeah. And Crackle is the same thing, just from Hershey instead of Nestle. I feel like I should, like, write a letter, write a letter to, like, my past self apologizing because I'm going to go with that, with the Crunch. Yeah, I'm going to go with Crunch, too. I am the opposite of Janet. I grew up eating so many Crunch Bars, so many, uh, that now I would take a Three Musketeers over a Crunch any day. Now, the Three Musketeers is, is the cr like the really wispy, kind of creamy one, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
very very airy. Mm. Their ads were the one with the candy bar that's like floats away if you don't hold it down. Yeah. Now that being said, I think a full bar pretty good. I, I would probably eat that. A little tiny one? No, not. not I got. I got. I got a crackle. Is that our first like coup de gras? Was that the first one that we've all been unanimous on? No, I went uh, three musketeers. We've been unanimous before. Oh. Uh, we were unanimous on Tootsie Rolls versus Payday, and also Nerds versus Red Vines. Uh, moving right along here, we're flying through this first round, which is good because it's about to get contentious later on. Uh, now and Laters versus Warheads. Why would you do this to me? Really? Because I don't feel passionately about either of these candies. I feel passionately about both of those candies. Even to this day, even at age 24, I feel very strongly about those candies. I think I'm going to go with Warheads, but only because I spent so much time as a kid doing the thing where you, like, dare your friends to see how many Warheads they can eat and, like, watching their faces get all weird because it's so sour. So, fond memories, I'm going with Warheads. I'm like Pavlov's dog. Like, I'm drooling over here thinking about Warheads. I want to go... Oh, gosh. This is difficult. So, then the question is, is do you like the novelty of, of a Warhead over, like... Basically the world's hardest taffy. taffy. Yeah. yeah. Because now and laters are always, like, way harder than you want them to be, and you have to suck on it for a while before you can chew it. Well, that's the point of the now and later. So you suck on it now, and then you chew it later. I thought it was that you had one for now and one for later, and they always came in two packs. Oh. No, I, I don't know. Shit. I always thought it was like, yeah, it's hard now, and then <laughs> later you get to enjoy a different texture. Oh, maybe that is it. I don't know. I don't know. I could have just been a creative child. Uh, I'm going to go with the now and later. I don't like that I've been conditioned by a candy to start drooling. So it's a petty reason, but I'm going with it. Am I going to have a warhead at any other time? Probably not. Hmm. It is a pretty Halloween-centric candy. You know what? I'll I'll say Warhead just because I think it. You're right. I think it is a Halloween, not necessarily staple, but I think, I think it, it's, it's a unique taste. Sean, I really honestly don't like any, both of these, so <laughs> I'm gonna go with now and later because Warheads taste like vomit. Oh, that means we gotta go to the tiebreaker again. Oh, that sucks because she's kind of out of reach right now. So we'll have to rock paper scissors this one like old times. <laughs> Hold on, let's see. Is there not a single person that's just, like, available right now that can just be, like, get in here? Celebrity tiebreaker. Emily Van for it. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> just call them on the phone and just... Put them on speaker. Hello? Hey. Hello? So, we're recording a podcast. You're on speakerphone. We need you to be the celebrity tiebreaker in our candy draft. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right. Uh, celebrity tiebreaker Ben Pentecost. Which do you prefer, now and laters or warheads? Um, I'm not a fan of spicy stuff, so I gotta go with uh, now and laters. Yay! Yay! <laughs> you just made Sean and Janet very happy. Thank you, Ben. Oh, uh, thanks, Ben. Happy Halloween, buddy. Thanks, thanks guys. <laughs> All right, now and later takes the day. Moving on, uh, Hershey's special dark versus mounds. For when you don't feel like a nut. When it, what is Mounds? Is Mounds just the... It's Almond coconut? Joy without the almonds. I think the chocolate's different, too. I think it's milk chocolate instead of dark chocolate. Or it's dark chocolate instead of milk chocolate. What the oh, hell's so a maybe Mounds? It's a dark this chocolate showdown. I don't want either of these. They suck. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go with Hershey's Dark. Yeah, I'm gonna go on record for Hershey's Special Dark as well. Yeah, I guess I go with that. Tyler, is it going to be a blowout? Are you shutting the mounds? Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> it's a non-vote. I don't even remember what a mounds even is. I don't think I've ever even had one. It's just chocolate and coconut. There's nothing to it. Oh, then fuck no. Yeah. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's an almond joy with less. That's why he doesn't know, because it never even was like, uh, what was that? All right, so I feel like this is the battle of candies that lots of people hate. We <laughs> have Skittles versus candy corn. Um, Skittles... And if you... Who hates Skittles? Oh. I hate Skittles. I'm going you candy corn. Skittles. I hate Skittles, Sean. Why? I am on Why record hate Skittles? as hating Skittles. I think they all taste fake. Well, Every single one of candy. them tastes of like flavor. Of course it's going to take... 
Every what single the- one of them tastes like a f- some kind of fruit flavored cough syrup. Okay, okay, I'll, I will I will see you on that. Yeah, but that's the whole point of candy. You don't eat candy when you could eat a grape. <laughs> you know, I'm convinced. I think I I mean I'm siding with Taylor. I think for a different for a different reason. But I just think that Skittles are are at any time uh, candy. Uh, I I think you have, I have to at least give candy corn the first round. Yeah, yeah, that, that's a good point. Candy corn is the crap that you can only get two times a month. Yeah, that's a good point, Tyler. <laughs> Thank God we can't get candy corn <laughs> all year round because it tastes like garbage. Yeah, good, good was... point. <laughs> I'll give it. It has a taste like a crap. <laughs> right, even if it's a even if it's a terrible taste. I don't. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, no, you're right. Fuck, yeah, I got. It's gotta go with skill. I don't hate candy corn that much. Damn it, Tyler. I don't, I don't hate it that much. Just I goes would to rather... show if you lobby hard enough, you can convince anybody. That's almost. That's basically true. Oh, <laughs> uh, Janet, please save me. God no, I would rather eat. I. I'm not okay. I hesitate to go as far as dog shit because last year I did start working on my candy corn acceptance, like kind of like how I'm working on accepting furries. Like I'm also working on accepting oh candy corn. And uh, you're truly a caring soul. I, you know, I'm trying. You know, I'm like coming. I'm trying to like come to terms with things. Um, but anyways, yeah. So Skittles all the way, a hundred percent. Candy corn is garbage. You guys suck. All right, the next matchup is the next matchup is bottle caps versus Swedish fish. He sounds so defeated. Um, Swedish fish gets you upgraded computer parts, and I choked on a bottle cap when I was a kid, so I <laughs> hate them. We talked about this. We had a whole episode about how Swedish fish was the greatest candy ever. So, like, ooh, get over it. Ditto. Swedish fish. You know. I like bottle caps. I really liked them when I was a little kid, but even though they get stuck in your teeth no matter what you do, I'm going Swedish Fish. We'll just go Swedish Fish. What's this? Our last matchup of the round is Baby Ruth's versus Milky Ways. Mm. I'm going to go with Milky Way. I love our galaxy and I love this candy bar. Not that Babe Ruth wasn't a fantastic baseball player, but if we're talking about proper nouns... Proper, na- proper noun candy bars. I'm going with Milky Way. Milky Way. I do love Baby Roots, and I feel like they get crapped on a lot as a substandard version of the Snickers. But, that being said, sometimes all I want in life is that nougat and caramel in the center mm-hmm. of the Milky Way. Mm-hmm. You know, I really wish I would have had would have bought every candy on this list. Because I feel like this would have been a close one, I bet, if I would have had Baby Ruth, like, right now. It would have been a lot closer if it was Baby Ruth versus Snickers. Thank God it didn't come to that. Yeah. Because I've been hand-crushing some peanuts, some roasted peanuts for my candy apples, so I've been really on a peanut kick. I'm like, give me that. Give me some more peanut. But... Oh, I was going to say, I, I was waiting to see how you ended that sentence, because it's, <laughs> it's going to go this mm. homoerotic direction. I've already said. I was like, I'm ready for this <laughs> podcast to go that direction. I gotta go with the, my consistent one that I've actually enjoyed at some point in my life, which has gotta be Milky Way. Sorry, Baby Ruth. Maybe next time. Rip in peace, Baby Ruth. Hey guys, Zach Shankweiler here. You may recognize me from my previous appearances right here on Dude's Brunch, in which I sound like a total asshole. But I'm actually a pretty ordinary guy, with an extremely ordinary podcast called Ordinary Folk, which is now part of the Dude's Brunch network. On Ordinary Folk, I like to sit down with people who I've met that I find truly interesting because of their passions and what they do, and try to have a unique conversation, finding out why it is they do what they do, and how they got to where they are now. It's quite a glorious adventure of curiosity and conversation if I do say so myself, and I think I just did. If that premise sounds pretty cool to you, feel free to check us out on iTunes or Google Play. Until then, stay tuned and stay ordinary, friends. All right, well, that brings us down to the Sweet 16. Oh, my God. We've got so much more candy to talk about, you guys. Round one of the Sweet 16, Hershey's Milk Chocolate versus Tootsie Rolls. Tootsie Rolls. Tootsie Rolls. I got to go with that Tootsie Roll. No contest. It's like sometimes you want chocolate, but sometimes you want cherry, and so you got to go with Tootsie <laughs> Roll. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> what a what a what an easy choice. Tootsie roll all the way, please. Better believe it. Uh, nerds versus take five. Oh, take five. You know, nerds are really inconsistent. I feel like sometimes I love them, and sometimes they just taste like pouring a bag of sugar into my face. So I'm going take five. I mean, it's. I mean, I really am scared that it's going to be. Uh, take five versus Tootsie Rolls, because I feel like you fuckboys are just gonna just gonna be like, take five! It's not even a real Halloween candy, but take five! <laughs> you fuckboys. Are you voting for nerds out of spite? Oh, uh, I could I could hate vote at least once, right? I think we get at least one. <laughs> it's not Shut gonna up. do it. Janet, what are you picking? <laughs> nerds hurt... Nerds hurt my mouth. Oh. Sometimes. You know, like, when you're like... So but you get a lot of them in there, fuck. you don't know where they're going. Yeah, and it's like, I don't know if it's just me, but like, sometimes all that sugar just... It's too just much. Hurts. Yep. I say take five. Yes! A candy bar, three-fourths of... <laughs> Who's even... <sighs> Sean and I have both had them. I've had one, too! I have not! <sighs> Boom, roasted. Uh, Sour Patch Kids versus Snickers. Oh. Snickers. Mm. Snickers. Sour Patch. Again, I feel like the consistency of the Snickers compared to some flavors I like and some I don't in Sour Patch Kids. Yeah. I gotta go with the hearty standby of Snickers. There's there's a no. real there's a real like method that I use when I test my Sour Patch Kids. Like I'll pick up the bag and kinda like kind of feel how like how if they're like soft or not. You ever had like a no, I'm serious. If you had like really hard Sour Patch Kids, they are the yeah. worst. Yeah, they're horrible when they're hard. You gotta get them when they're still chewy. Please it's, tell me you're, like, that guy in the store just, like, fondling this bag of, like, sour I do, I do, I do it. I honestly pick them up, like, and I, like, feel them. Because, you know, like, as as you guys have learned from this bracket, I am, I am a, I am a many, many, I, I, I appreciate candies in all of their forms. And I'm not afraid to take my business down to the next house, you know? I think like, we need to accept our bias that we prefer chocolate can- chocolate bars over anything else on this list. And I think that there's a problem here. I think we need to consider what makes a good bar, what makes a good treat. And I think that at some I only point, have three votes here. Who's the deciding vote? Tyler. Come on, Tyler. Follow your heart. <laughs> Are you kidding me? God, it's gotta be... It, is it is it, is it a Snickers? I guess. Fuck. Take what you want. I can't say I, I can't say I love a Sour Patch Kid. Now I, I love a good Snicker. But yeah, I, I want to like change sour. my answer. God, oh, you're right. It's gonna be Snickers. This is so hard. <laughs> I want to change my answer to Snickers because going back to my "it makes my mouth hurt" comment, sometimes the Sour Patch Kids also. You, make my yeah, mouth if you hurt. eat a lot of Sour Patch Kids, your tongue's going raw. Yep, yep. Snickers. God, we are so just. Uh... It's okay, Tyler. I think we're gonna overcome okay. that in this round. We have Mr. Goodbar versus Starbursts. Oh, Starbursts! I don't even care if it's it's double yellow. I'm fine with yeah. Starbursts. Yeah, let's go with that. Mr. Goodbar was just like, a gimme. <laughs> yeah, as much as I like Mr. Goodbar, Starburst all the way. Moving that fruit right on up. Thank but, you. Uh, we got <laughs> another fruit matchup here. Jolly Ranchers versus Kit Kats. Mm. I'm going to go with Jolly Ranchers on this one. I love Kit Kats, but you know what? I, I, I love green apple. Ooh, I, I just, green I apple love, Jolly I love Ranchers green apple and cherry. Like, there's not a bad flavor of Jolly Ranchers. And when it comes to, like, I know mm. I can have the consistency of a Kit Kat. I will challenge but, you, know, you. We got a lot of variety of chocolates, and I want variety of, of fruit. I'm going to challenge you because I do think that watermelon is a bad flavor of Jolly Rancher. Uh, see, that's why you trade with your friends. But, but honestly, I, I think that you think it's a bad flavor because it's relative to all the flavors that are really good. Now, if you had to pick a watermelon jolly rancher over a gobstopper, then what? I would still go with the gobstopper because I don't like watermelon. Oh, that's Ooh. right. Oh, well, that's just that's just that's different though. You don't like watermelon. That's like me saying like I don't want to have a carrot flavored jolly rancher over eating a piece of Hershey's chocolate. Like, no, of course I don't want to have a carrot. No. No one wants a carrot flavored jolly rancher. I'm still going Kit Kat. <laughs> jolly ranchers. Kit Kat. Kit Kat format's too oh small my God, is it for, tied? for Halloween. It is tied. Oh, it is tied. Oh, no. I can't. I hey, can't. Sarah? 
Hold on. Or wait, should we call somebody? Can we, anybody Hold call on, somebody? Hold on, I got Catherine. Don't let me down, I'm batting a thousand. Batting a thousand on people that aren't Sarah right now, so... <laughs> right, hold on. One of those people you have to live with tonight. Hello. Hi. Hi. Alright, so... Uh, our choice right now is between Jolly Ranchers or Kit Kats. You get to choose the flavor of Jolly Ranchers? Yes. No, it's all flavors combined. Yeah, it's all flavors... Presupposing you could also trade with someone if you get a flavor you don't like. Okay. Versus the fun yeah. size of Kit Kat. Yeah, I would pick the Jolly Ranchers because they're gluten free. <laughs> <laughs> she physically yeah, can't would. eat one of them. I would pick Jolly Ranchers if I had other chocolate candy. Yeah. So it doesn't matter yeah. if it was it was if it was Kit Kat anyway. You like Jolly Ranchers. All right. This is, but it's presupposing that Kit Kat isn't the only chocolate candy you have. <laughs> because there are a lot, like, is Kit Kat low tier chocolate candy? Yeah, I probably still <laughs> pick Jolly Ranchers. <laughs> Alright, sounds good. Well, thanks. We, we basically sweep that one, so thank you. <laughs> okay, good. Alright, bye bye. Bye. All right, it's the battle of Janet's childhood here. Or I guess it's my childhood versus Janet's. Uh, mm-hmm. Crunch crunch versus now and later. Crunch. Crunch. Now and later. That's two for crunch, one for now and later. Oh, no, it comes down to me. Go with your heart. Don't choose it because you want to move on. I can call somebody. Go with the heart of the cards. You know what? No. I, honestly, if I'm going with my heart, I still don't understand. Am I supposed to st- suck on a now and later or chew on a now and later? And I remember being a kid, and you put one in your mouth, and you try to chew it, and you almost break your teeth off. Go with crunch. Google it. It's what? We're millennials, for God's sake. Here, let me Google it. Yeah, well, please Google it and tell us. Fire up the Googler. What is a now and later supposed to mean? All right, Wikipedia. Don't fail me now. Oh. The original slogan was, eat some now, kid, which sounds like a threat. That's not nice. That's like the weakest thread ever. <laughs> it's just like, eat this candy. Eat this candy! I'm okay, fine. the name. Sure. The name now and later was meant to suggest to customers that they eat some of the taffy squares in the bar right away and save the rest for another occasion. So you were right. Boom! Oh. I thought so. Alright, moving on. We have Hershey's Special Dark versus Skittles. 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 Ah. <sighs> I still think they taste like cough syrup. I'm going to give a pity vote to Special Dark. But that means Skittles moves on to the next round. Oh, uh, yeah. You tried. Uh, Swedish Fish versus Milky Way. Give me that fish. The Swedes win this round. Milky Way. Tyler, I'm going to play your own game here. Yeah. I feel like I can get Milky Way anytime I want when I just, like, go to the grocery store and you impulse buy one. You can get Swedish Fish anytime you want. But I don't. <laughs> what a, are you sick? No, it's important that I say it this way. Because I feel like when you buy Swedish fish anytime outside of Halloween, you have to buy a huge bag of them. And I don't Not want true. that many Swedish fish. I just want, like, the one big Swedish fish that comes in a fun size package. And I just eat one and I'm done with it. So I'm going Swedish fish. Were the Halloween Swedish fish the ones that came with that little tiny. It was that thing where you put it on your hand and, like, and you depending make it- on the way it. Yeah, it would, like, fold over. Yeah, the little, like, cellophane fish. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, oh, guys. We're we're in the final four. It's gonna get tight now. Ooh, umami. Uh, umami, indeed. <laughs> it begins with the showdown Tyler's been waiting for. Tootsie Rolls versus Take Fives. Tootsie, tootsie Rolls for life. Here. Tootsie Rolls for life, man. Sean, you're abandoning me at my finest hour. Tootsie Roll. I, I love these two candies, but you know, like, you know, when, when I when I think of home, when I think of some place that I want to be, when I'm in my Happy Gilmore, like happy place, there are Tootsie Rolls there. Kylie's rocking it out over there. Mm. <laughs> That's the sound of Tyler thoroughly enjoying his defeat over my happiness. <laughs> I will pity vote for take five while Tootsie Roll mm. runs the table. It's so good. Eating the vanilla one? 
Oh, uh, yeah. You can tell we're getting old because two of our top four members are Taffy's. <laughs> it's Snickers versus Starbursts. Oh, this is actually hard. I'm going to go with Snickers on this one. I'm going to go with Snickers. You see, this is where my bias comes in. Because I traditionally, given the choice between like a chewy fruit flavored snack or chocolate, I will always go with the chewy fruit flavored. So you're going Starbursts. Uh, yeah. I will always pick the chewy fruit. I am the opposite. I will always go the chocolate. And Snickers is also my, I need to eat food right now. Oh my gosh, I'm in the middle of nowhere. I'm at a gas station. What can I eat? I'm going to grab a Snickers. Yeah, but I'm not myself. I don't grab a Starburst. Yeah, not like when you're 12 years old and you're going trick-or-treating with all your best friends and you're having a great time listening to that new Blink-182 album. No, that's right. You're at a gas station and you're desperate. <laughs> Tyler makes a very valid point. Come on, Tyler. What you got? Rolling hot. We got a. We got a. We got a pink. We got a strawberry and a cherry. Ooh, that's the perfect star starburst combo. Someone got fired that day. <laughs> you gonna do one more? Mm-hmm. All right. I swear, if you don't get any yellows or oranges in this, I'm gonna like reach through the computer and punch you. <laughs> what's the, what's the what's the vote so far? Two to one, Snickers. Oh yeah. <laughs> What Double is it? orange. Oh, there you go. Uh, that that's arguably the worst combo. I'll take that lemon over great double orange. For me. I love that flavor. Starburst. Oh my oh, god. No. I rolled hot. If I did roll hot, I would have voted the other way. But I didn't get a single yellow, so. Yellow's definitely the worst. God and anime were on my side. <laughs> Sean, are you bringing in a celebrity tiebreaker? Yeah, I'm going to call my brother. Oh, Steven. Okay, so I'm texting my brother, but he can't really talk right now because he's in bed, but he's still awake, which means that he's probably doing something on his phone, like surfing Facebook or something. But he can't He can't wake up. He can't wake up his, his partner, so... I text him. It says, Dil I'll see when he reads it. He's probably like, what the fuck? Why is Sean texting me this at 10 o'clock at night? He's definitely like, what the fuck? Why is Sean texting me this at 10 o'clock at night? <laughs> He's probably never going to talk to me again. He's going to be like, you know what? <laughs> no. I, I'm about to move into my new house, and you're texting me at 10 o'clock at night to ask me what candy I prefer. You are the worst. You're the absolute worst brother. I am abandoning you for Christmas. Don't ask me for anything. I hate you. <laughs> so, <laughs> so just for the record, my brother said, Jesus... That's like choosing breathing or a beating heart. He's and then he says, um, starbursts. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's the tiebreaker. Starburst takes the table. Next category is Jolly Ranchers versus Crunch. Mm. This is back to Janet and I's uh, fruit chocolate conundrum. I'm always gonna side with chocolate. Oh my god. I'm going with Jolly Ranchers on that one. This is the dark horse. This is the this is the dark horse round. I am conflicted. I don't like Jolly Ranchers, but I also don't feel that Crunch should be a final two or a no, final final. You're four. right. Get out of here. It's got to be Jolly Ranchers. <laughs> yeah. Spike boat right now. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Jolly Ranchers. I just don't think Crunch is that good to be a final four. Mm. It, it really got by it. Just barely. <laughs> it had to be now and later. <laughs> and it was kind of like, well, I guess it's okay compared to Three Musketeers. <laughs> Sean, where did you land on this? Uh, Jolly Ranchers. That's 3-1 Jolly Ranchers. Jolly Ranchers moves on to the final round. Or to the semifinals, sorry. Wait, who went with Crunch? <laughs> Taylor, because he's all like, I like chocolate more than I like candy. Sue me, I like chocolate. <laughs> cool. <laughs> uh, next up, Skittles versus Swedish fish. Oh, Swedish. Swedish fish. The Swedes. They win again. For me. Yeah, give it to Swedish fish. Wow, look at that unanimous victory for Swedish fish. I'm also voting Swedish fish. 
That's mm. four nothing. Don't worry, Swedish it fish. won't win again. It's fine. <laughs> All right, so this is it, everybody. The semifinals. We only have three more matches to go here. We've been on an epic journey, and I feel like this is kind of the final showdown. Our last chocolate contender here is Tootsie Rolls against Starburst. Tyler, go ahead and open that packet. What Starburst did you get? Uh, oh, the nightmare. The nightmares have come true, everyone. It's finally happened. <laughs> the death. Yellow and pink. Tootsie Rolls, baby. Tootsie Rolls all the way. I'm going to go Tootsie with Tyler. Tootsie Rolls. The yellow Starburst ruin it for me. I'm also going Tootsie Rolls. I'm going to go with Tootsie Roll because I feel like you can get Starburst anytime, but Tootsie Rolls are like specifically for me a Halloween candy. So I'm going with the Tootsie Rolls. Boom, roasted Starburst. Tootsie Rolls, unanimous victory on to the final round. And the second match of our semifinals, we got Jolly Ranchers versus Swedish Fish. Swedish Fish. Fish. Jolly Ranchers. Oh. That's two for the fish, one for the ranchers. Ooh. Oh man, I think I'm gonna have to go for the Jolly Ranchers because I do I do love those grape and those blue raspberries so much. Great, you can have them all, Taylor. I don't want them. Give me your every other flavor. Is it? Oh, it's 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 a surf and turf battle. It's a surf and turf battle, <laughs> and you know what that means? We got to bring in our expert from across the pond, celebrity judge Emily Banforth. Hey, Hi. Emily. <laughs> you sound disgruntled. I'm annoyed. <laughs> well, it's only going to get more annoying. You're on. Why? You're on speakerphone with me, Sean, Janet, and Tyler. We're recording the Dudes Brunch Holiday Candy Championship. We're in the semifinals, and you need to be the tiebreaker in the showdown between Jolly Ranchers and Swedish Fish. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> Which one is the better Halloween candy? Swedish Fish. Yeah. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Janet and Sean are rejoicing. Yeah, it's easily to Swedish Fish. Jolly Ranchers suck. <laughs> literally. <laughs> Sean says literally. <laughs> Got her. <sighs> I'm so disappointed. I'm so disappointed in you. Swedish fish are delightful. I actually eat Swedish fish in like dots voluntarily. So oh god, like dots. Please. Okay, you have, I'm sorry. You have to, you have to get the fuck out now. You can't eat dots on this podcast. That's not allowed. <laughs> I love dots. They're so good. They're an underrated candy. They taste like nothing. They taste so good. They taste like miscellaneous fruit flavor. God, they're so gross. All right, thank you, Emily. No problem. Bye, guys. Bye. Do you plan for WWDC like it's your birthday? Do you have strong opinions on Snapchat filters? Are you tired of three-hour-long tech podcasts? then you should check out 10 Minute Tech Talk. It's a show Emily and I make every single Tuesday where we catch you up on a week's worth of technology news in just 10 minutes. You can find it on Apple Podcasts, Overcast, Google Play, and basically anywhere else you can get podcasts. We've been on an epic journey together. We've brought in celebrity guests from the Dudes Brunch Network. But I think we need to argue this one out together as a team. The final matchup, Tootsie Rolls versus Swedish Fish. Okay, so if I'm going off of... I guess I want to set, I want to set a narrative for, for why I picked this one. Because this guy's kind of controversial for me. 
if I'm done with my if I'm done with my candy route when I'm a kid, and but now I'm, I'm now I'm an adult because I'm picking as an adult. When I open up my bag, what am I most excited about? And the answer is Swedish fish. I love Tootsie Rolls. They're my favorite candy. But that said, the Swedish fish is just like a joyous, a, like a, a joyous pleasure for me to eat. And Tootsie Rolls are like a warm blanket that I can always count on. That's amazing. I shed a single solitary man tear during that story, Sean. My brother also said that Tootsie Rolls over Starburst is bullshit. (laughs) (laughs) I feel conflicted because I love both of these candies. But I think I stand by my original comment that for me, if it was a question of superior candies, I would go with Swedish Fish. But you can get Swedish Fish any time of the year. When I think of superior Halloween candy, I think I want to go with the Tootsie Rolls. I think that's what I'm going to go with. Variety, format, specialness of the time that which you can get it. Just taste. <laughs> no contest. Tootsie Rolls. We've spent a lot of time tonight talking about the different flavors of Tootsie Rolls. But what I really want to draw attention to is the different shapes of Tootsie Rolls. Because I think the difference between little tiny Tootsie Roll, long Tootsie Roll, and fat Tootsie Roll, they're essentially three different candies that all have the same chocolatey flavor. And they're not quite chewing gum, they're not quite taffy, they're kind of somewhere in the middle. There's just so much going on in a Tootsie Roll for a candy that literally gets thrown at you on the street, right? Listen, Like, my abiding memory of Tootsie Rolls is, like, during parades on the 4th of July and at Halloween. Those are the only two times that I ever eat them. And I love all the different shapes. I love all the different flavors. Clearly, the candy of the proletariat is the Tootsie Roll. (laughs) Please explain yourself. Well, everything that you just said. It is kind of the most ubiquitous candy, that's for sure. Right up there with Dum Dums, which we didn't include in the draft because they don't count. But, yeah, I gotta follow my heart, and my heart leads back to my childhood. Just absolutely loving Tootsie Rolls. So what is it now? Is it tied again? No, that's no? three to one. Ladies and gentlemen, the official 2017 holiday candy of Dude's Brunch... The Tootsie Roll. Oh, yeah! Now it's time to round out the podcast like we always do with a round of shameless plugs from the panel. Starting, of course, with Hater Shades McGee over here, Tyler Reed. <laughs> Tyler, where can the people find you? Boom! I just listened to I Wanna Rock and Roll All Night like three times back to back because I'm still amped about Sissy Rolls! <laughs> I have a giant pile of candy, I have to be at work at 6 a.m. <laughs> hey everybody, you can find my design work at tiredeary.com and you can find me on the socials as TDR Design on Instagram and Twitter. Sean Evans. If people want to find heartwarming holiday-themed content from you, where can they do that? <laughs> they won't find much of it, but if you want to find other stuff, <laughs> you can find me at s evans eight nine one zero seven eight nine ten on Twitter and Snapchat. Janet, can anybody follow you anywhere on the internet these days? Yeah, I was about to say, uh, don't look for me. Don't follow me. Let me be a hermit in peace, damn it. I come out of my shell every now and then to do the podcast, and then I... I go back. So That's now. my favorite thing about you, Janet. Thank you. Thank you for that. We we appreciate it. It, it means a lot that you would like come out of your my your hermit, hermit your hermit shell to do this podcast. And then... thank you. Uh, my Twitter game's been real weak recently, anyways. So it's, all right. it's just been political retweets. That's all I've been doing. So I do uh, like though, that you've changed your display name to Political Crispy in case yeah, we didn't well, already know. <laughs> Well, because I was losing followers, so I figured I should just put out the warning that I am now political. Instead of just plain crispy, 
I'm now political crispy. So, do you have non IRL f- friend followers? Like four? I don't know. I. You have two hundred four followers, Janet. Yeah, but, but she's had yeah. that account since high school. I know a lot of people, Tyler. Jesus, I don't know. Well, that's that's fine. <laughs> Actually, I think I do have. No, most of them I know. Yeah, so. That's every single person I've ever met in my life who follows me on Twitter. No, I'm kidding. Everyone who matters, anyway. <laughs> yeah. You're my, fr- you're my number one. You're the first follower I ever had. Because I think I convinced you to get Twitter. Yeah, you did. And you still follow me, and I'm really thankful for that. You've seen me from the start. I've watched you blossom from your cocoon into a beautiful crispy butterfly oh thank you that's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me gross you can follow me on twitter where i'm apparently an infinite content machine uh i am at tc olmstead i'm also that on instagram and snapchat and a bunch of other shit uh you can like and follow the show at dudes brunch we do twitch streams occasionally at twitch.tv slash dudes brunch and of course we have a subreddit too you can find it by searching for our dudes brunch um, if you really like what we do around here, you should leave us a review on Apple Podcasts. Haven't gotten any reviews recently. Maybe if you leave us a five-star review, uh, we could come up with some sort of prize system for that. I don't know. Can I, can I do a little shameless plug real quick? Yeah, go ahead, Sean. For, for those who haven't seen Rick and Morty, by the time this podcast comes out, it'll probably still be on there, but I don't know. The Adult Swim app is streaming Rick and Morty on a continual loop of all three seasons right now. And it's free, right? It's free and uninterrupted. You can get in, you can literally in in five hours watch the entire series. There you go. You would get a lot more of the jokes on this podcast if you did that. I realize that's a big commitment though. So, you know, live your own life, follow your bliss. Other than that, we will see you next week for another episode of Dude's Brunch. No. <laughs> she just she just sent you straight to the fu. She just.